I used to play the accordion. When I tried to press the buttons with the left hand, instead of being able to use my fingers and keep the rhythm, I just grasped the accordion. I just couldn't. How to improve the quality of life and the autonomy of Parkinson's disease patients. This small sensor, these headphones and this mobile phone might just provide the answer. Pere, who lives in Barcelona, was diagnosed with Parkinson's 16 years ago. He's taking part in a European research project aimed at helping patients manage the different stages of their disease more autonomously. The sensor records movement data and identifies symptoms. When the patient lacks coordination, acoustic stimuli in the ear help him walk straight. The data is also sent via mobile phone to doctors who can follow the evolution and adapt treatment accordingly. The device tells us how many hours the patient's state is on and off, how the patient walks during these two different stages of the disease. We're also able to know if the patient suffers from blockages or not, and if so, how many blockages he suffers throughout the day. We also know how fast he can walk. And when the system automatically detects that the patient has any motor problems, it activates acoustic stimuli to help the patient walk better. So where and how was this platform developed? It was here at this electronics lab that the sensor was designed and assembled. The biggest challenge, researchers say, was to embed electronics and complex algorithms into a portable, functional and unobtrusive device. Inside the sensor, we have an accelerometer that keeps track of acceleration as the person walks. We also have a magnetometer, which works like a compass, recording data in the magnetic fields. And it also has a gyroscope that records how the patient moves along in three axes in a given space. This data is recorded and analyzed through mathematical algorithms. And in the end, we're able to classify any movement the patient makes. Scientists say first trials have confirmed that the device can indeed help patients increase their autonomy. Although the subjects have suggested some minor improvements. Most of the patients have said they prefer smaller sensors. There's also a gap of around one minute between the moment the sensors identify a problem and the sending of the acoustic stimulation. Patients also said they prefer to have musical rhythms instead of just the beat of a metronome. Now researchers are working on giving the device the capacity to regulate the medication the patients receive in real time and in response to their body's needs. The next step is to transform this device into a fully operational medical aid, a device that will help doctors provide better diagnostics and also, eventually, allow them to adapt the patient's medication, which will improve their health. But medical devices are heavily regulated in Europe, so we need to work further in this direction.